So the patient's current lifestyle and health status for the last 10 years, the patient has been on no prescription medications. The least amount of pain they've ever been in in 18 years, it fluctuates between a zero to a 10 out of pain with 10 being the worst pain. And again, think about how, how is this possible? And that's why I took you through, if you would have looked at the review of systems and what was going on with this patient, if the history would have been looked at further and other therapeutic interventions would have been introduced to modify that gut bacteria to help with that chronic inflammation, we could have shut it down in the source. And then also mitochondrial support. And that's what this patient, that's what they did. They had the GI support, whether that was enzymes for helping digest the food, probiotics to modify that gut bacteria, taking away the fuel for the pathogenic bacteria, the sugars, the starches. Inflammation started to dramatically decrease. So you can see that that is possible. And that's what this patient eventually did. They did, were able to treat it with natural therapies alone because they got to what was causing the chronic inflammation in the first place. Nutritional supplementation, again, talked about the digestive support, anti-inflammatory supplementation, and again, our mitochondrial support. Again, the patient's current lifestyle and health status. It was so important that they found out the diagnosis was ankylosing spondylitis because posture is so essential with AS. You gotta have correct posture all the time and movement. So when this patient found out that I have, okay, I do have AS, I need to be moving all the time. I need to have correct posture, whether I'm sitting, whether I'm walking, whether I'm standing, they found out how crucial that was and that took them to a whole nother level. So we talked about everything they did internally at the level of the GI tract, supporting their mitochondria, but then also when they started to find out, okay, what do I need to strengthen? Started implementing exercises um, to strengthen what's called the posterior chain muscles in their back, especially the hamstrings, the glutes, and their entire paraspinal muscle. It took them to a whole nother level because we know what does AS want to do? If you've ever seen a picture of it, one wants to take the body like this. We've got to strengthen all of this to bring the body into that. We've got to fight back against that AS of what it's trying to push the body into. The problem is, is when AS forces the body into this posture, that causes what? It causes more breakdown, more degeneration in those spinal joints, throwing everything off, all the way from the cervical spine, all the way to the SI joints. And then again, affecting the ribs, affecting the sternum, affecting the hips. So once those muscles can be strengthened, a proper posture can be developed. The pain can be reduced dramatically because we're slowing down that degeneration. We're slowing down that 